Pop-Up Shops is a retail incubator space for minority and women-owned businesses in downtown Raleigh. We've worked with um, the owner of this building for a few years to do a pop-up space. We wanted to use a storefront that had really good foot traffic. We find that pop-up tenants oftentimes get put in spaces that are um, usually not very good. Uh, and they're not really set up for success. They're just used to fill a vacancy that's hard to fill. The other thing we wanted to do was create a space that allows for entrepreneurship for minority and women-owned businesses, um, really to make downtown a place that is more inclusive, is more welcoming, and is a place where all business owners can see themselves. Ideally, it's a launching pad for um, filling storefronts in downtown like it uh, Julian's journey was, but um, you know, there's a lot of value in, in all the different ways that people come out of this space. I was working at a croissantery in downtown Raleigh and thrifting two to three times a week and selling at um, farmers markets and yard sales that I put on myself. I was a little tired of doing pop-ups, like the grind of packing up my car and moving everything around. And I started looking at storefronts. Yeah, a person at the DRA told me that there were grants and opportunities available uh, for new businesses. So they told me to kind of be patient and get ready. As soon as the pop-up shops at Martin Street program was announced, I applied. The first day of opening was Black Friday. I had maxed out my credit card, spent all the money I could on inventory, racks, advertising, tables, chairs, all that stuff to open. It pretty much worked exactly the way like I thought it would. There was a great turnout. Raleigh really needed a store like mine at the time. I thought the downtown Raleigh community would come out, and they did. And that day I kind of knew that I had to keep going because I had something on my hands. The mission for Trust Life is to try to teach little girls to embrace and love their natural beauty. And it's not for little girls only, but it's for women. The whole time I was in undergrad and grad, they never ever taught me to have my own business. It was always to become Mrs. CEO of another person's company. So that's what my goal was. You know, the aim was to become big in someone else's company. But over time, I ended up saying, okay, I'm gonna invest in me. That's when Trust Life started to bloom and blossom. And now because of this program, all these girls and women have access to this amazing, amazing hair care line. We even have a flower wall up in my store and we tell the ladies, come in, take your selfies, take your pictures, because we feel that every woman is a rose. So this is the place where you get to blossom and be that beautiful rose. So I opened my first storefront in Rocky Mount, North Carolina back in 2012. I really was able to tap into like the power of having a storefront in the community, a place where people could come and see, smell, experience the product, um, and also the ways that we could engage with the, with the community unlike the way we were able to do with the online business. So one of the great things about the Raleigh community is the diversity of people that you, you see in here. Um, and then the array of events that are happening all the time right around you. You've got, especially in the summertime, it's beautiful. You've got the African American Cultural Festival, you've got the international festivals. So the variety of people and events that are happening around um, is definitely a, an attractive point. They had incentives that were geared towards small businesses in a way that I didn't find in other areas. The thought that DRA put into the pop-up program was intentional. And its ability to help entrepreneurs at different stages made all the difference in me deciding to open my storefront here in downtown Raleigh. I was in a place of um, seeking what's next. What is next for my business? I, at that point, I knew I had a product that people liked and they wanted to purchase. Um, I was selling out very fast at pop-ups. First, before I applied, I came here um, and I met Kim. And me and Kim, we literally spoke for hours. Like we were just like vibe. I was like, oh my gosh, I love her. I tried the product. I was like, wow, this, these businesses have really good products. Like they're not just, you know, selling anything. They're actually selling things that are good quality and um, handmade. And I really appreciate that also. 
that was my push to um, apply. There's no right or wrong way to approach this thing called life. It's just doing what feels right and what it is that you're called to do. And I'm a person of faith, so I'm, I'm a servant first, and I am supposed to do what God has called me to do, and this is something that God has called me to do. We're excited to be able to keep this program going and hopefully someday expand this program.